What's up, YouTube? I should make this video very quick. While I was working on my wands, <clears throat> starting another batch of wands on Etsy, and um, I watched a video that I never meant to post. It was like two years old. It was me bitching because my friends were getting laid more than I was. And I didn't like it. I chuckled at it because my attitude towards it has changed quite a bit. These days, however, I'm grateful that I'm single. And sometimes being single is less drama in your life. Even though I bitch about being single sometimes, I try to do it less and less often. I've been working on that. And on top of that, instead of bitching because I'm single, let's direct that energy into something a bit more constructive, like helping gender relations. And that's why I make those videos, to be quite honest. But that's for another time. And what I've learned from my friends who get laid more often than I do is that sometimes they're just as miserable as you are. And sometimes chicks fight over you, which a lot of guys think that sounds glamorous and sexy. But truth be told, sometimes it's just a nightmare. According to what my friend had said. I saw a video entitled King Cobra JFS shitting all over his friends. I'm like, what the fuck is this stupid shit? I clicked on it and it was a video of me two years ago. I was really drunk like I am now. But I was in a much different mindset. And I bitched about one of my friends getting laid more than me. And then bitch because I dropped a spatula and I had to wash it. I mean, just stupid shit. So even though I hate my trolls for saving some of those videos, it's honestly made me reflect. You know. So even when you try to change for the better, you still have a culture that, you know does certain things. To some degree, men are conditioned to always want sex. That's not a gender stereotype, that's just, what's the word? Cultivate, no, cultivating wouldn't be the word. Um, Cultivating wouldn't necessarily be the word. I guess brainwashing would be more accurate. And the stereotype that all men want is sex, it creates very negative standards for both women and men. It's made, it's made it to where women can't handle rejection and to where men can't handle breakups. Now I've, I've had to learn that I can't, excuse me, that I can't talk about any of my female friends on YouTube because my trolls will try to harass them and honestly it's sad. 
but not nearly as pathetic as graffitiing someone's ashtray just to get a rise out of them. That's even funnier. Especially when the person who bought it graffitis over it, over your stupid immature shit, and then spray paints it black as a double whammy. Like, what now? I feel like when my trolls go out of my way to fuck with me, they're trying to get a rise out of me, and then when, when they see me at my worst, to them it's amusing. It's like, how far can we push him to where he gets to that point? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. But it was smoker's cough. I bought that ashtray to cut down on the cigarette butt waste outside, and the nice thing about smoking tobacco out of a pipe is that you don't get as, as much cigarette butts, really. You just dump it in the ashtray. And truth be told, YouTube, being patient on the dating scene will get you so much crap. You know, writing stupid shit like King Cobra 8 never had no pussy before or some shit like that. That's what I'm talking about. This male baiting that baits men into their standards not only their standards but their stereotypes and you have to realize that society baits women into these standards and stereotypes too it's the way society conditions because that's called grooming there we go I got the word yeah The way society grooms men says a lot about our culture. You take, for example, a stereotypical sleazy hip-hop music video where you see girls wearing G-string sling bikinis and shaking their asses while some guys are bouncing, you know. And some guy's all smacking on the ass while he's rapping into a microphone like, yeah, I got my, you know what I'm saying, kind of thing. And if... Younger audiences are watching that. Women who see that might think a certain way about their gender and vice versa. Men might think at a certain age that's how you're supposed to treat them and that's not. It really isn't. I'll tell you this, one of my female friends gave me props. She said, you could be a player, but you're not, and I respect that. And at the time, and still going through whatever I'm going through, but I was like, I don't give a shit about my dry spell anymore. I'm more focused on my wand business. Of age female companionship is nice when you can get it, but it's not the primary focus. Primary focus is making that money. Honestly, if you're an adult, sex is not a need, it's a want. Lots of people want more sex and more money in their life. Doesn't mean it's gonna make them happy.
you know, and that's just it. The time I spent bitching about it because my friends were getting more than I was, that's time I could have spent cultivating myself. So I'm at a much better place in my life than I was two years ago. That's just it, isn't it? With guys, it's a competition of who can get more more pussy, and that is stupid. It's stupid. Guys should not be in a competition for who can get more pussy. Guys should be in a competition for who can make more money. You establish a foundation for your life, a home, a career. You got that money coming in when you can when you can make it. Then the woman will find her way to you. You can't just rush out and get it. You notice that people who rush out and get it are miserable. I see all these comedians who bitch about their marriage like oh there's always got to be a fight and blah 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 and I'm like okay that's stereotypical and then you hear the crowd chuckling like oh look it's an older gentleman bitching about his marriage this this is this is funny <laughs> I mean, couples will pick the stupidest things to fight about just, just to get underneath each other's skin. It's like, why do that? Your wife asks you to help her fold the laundry, and you both fold socks differently. The method you do to fold socks produces the same result, but her method's right, so... Your method's right. Eh... Well, if half of it's your laundry, then of course you're going to do it, because that's just how it rolls. But. I mean, to me, that just seems stupid, you two, picking a fight with your other half just because you can. Having a petty argument on how to fold socks, like, there's a couple who's sexually frustrated right there. That's the problem with it. If couples are picking fights that are petty, small, immature, they're usually sexually frustrated. Or maybe it's not what, it, what they thought it was going to be kind of thing. Who knows? But if they're truly toxic for you, get them out of your life, you know? If they exhibit toxic behaviors on the so-called dating scene, get them out of your life. Because if you yourself are not a toxic person, you really don't deserve that. If you yourself are not a toxic person, then you don't deserve that. Once I made the decision to stop bitching about getting laid when I can and can't get it, I started focusing on improving myself and helping women and men better understand each other. It feels good, you know, because it's like I'm not sitting there constantly depressed about the same bullshit every day, you know, it's just, it's, ugh. nobody wants to be around in that shit, man.
Patience is a bloody virtue, YouTube. It really is. Sure, the whole of society might give you shit for not getting laid and being groomed like the rest of them. But when they see you have a dating partner that's perfect for you, they'll be jealous of you and her's relationship. And they will go, God damn it, how did Cobra get the goth chick of his dreams? It's some bullshit. How come I can't have that? It's because you're not being patient enough. There are plenty of cute goth chicks here in town, so I'm not even tripping out about it, to be honest. Come on, fellas. When you're trying to get laid and you go to the bar with your buddies because you want to smash some puss, the look of desperation is obvious on your face. <clears throat> Thankfully enough, Tactical Soap is still working. I ordered some more and the company is still up and running if you'd like to get some Tactical Soap. and. Smell sexy for your lady friend while you're stuck in quarantine and order some today. They come in four amazing scents. Bond, Maverick, Durban, and Bond Musk. They also have a wonderful beard oil you can use. Now the Grondike affiliate link will be in the description box below. Grondike Soap Company is the one that makes Tactical Soap. And Tactical Soap kicks ass. I got bored and wanted to laugh, so I hopped on to the King Cobra JFS subreddit. And I'm scrolling through all the bullshit they posted. The stupid fan art they made, making fun of me and shit. It's just... Uh, I play these trolls like a goddamn guitar, and it's hilarious. Honestly, if people are fucking with you, don't let them get a rise out of you. It's not worth it. One of the YouTubers I watched and still watch made a very valid point. People love drama, and on top of that, if you have drama in your life, people are going to want to know more about it, and they confess you're out of control. I watched the documentary that Pickle Boy made about Doug, and honestly, I'm disgusted at the behavior that some people exhibit. You know, and it's just fucked what people do just to get a reaction or 
something, you know. People do fucking stupid shit to get a rise out of people or get a reaction or get money or whatever, you know. It's dumb. Now here's the thing of it, you know the age old expression, plenty of fish in the sea. I'm sure people are tired of hearing it, plenty of fish in the sea, oh cliche. I want to add one to that. The patient fisherman catches the fish he wants most. Smells like slamming, if it smells like salmon, keep on a jamming, if it smells like trout, get the fuck out. You know why these comedians are always bitching about their marriage and their wife? It's because they go to bed angry with their wife and they can't just tell her, Honey, you piss me off with your bullshit because that will piss her off. And then here comes the fight. So, so they're like, Hey, you know what? If I make a, an act about it and say, Honey, I'm just doing stand-up comedy. Ha ha, it's just a joke. She won't be as mad about it. She'll be like, oh, Really? You're talking about our marriage again on... On stage, like, uh... So here's the thing of it, YouTube. If you go to bed happy with your wife, you have a happy life. That's just how it is. And furthermore, I'm sick and tired of all this pressure for people to get married. Like you think guys getting pressured for sex is bad. Women getting pressured to get married before they're 40 is just as disgustingly cruel and unfair. You know, oh, you caught the bouquet last before all your friends. Boo-hoo. Now here's the depressing fact that'll help you get over being single. One, we all die alone. You can't prevent that. You may have family that you're related to or family that you created by marriage. Or no family that you created by marriage. You may end up just dying alone next to your sweetheart and that's just that's just that. That's the end of it, you know, and you can't prevent it. It's unpreventable. So it doesn't matter if you're married or single, you're still going to die alone. But what do you think is more depressing? Dying alone knowing you never had a wife or kids or a girlfriend to cuddle with? Or dying alone knowing that you spent the last 10 years missing your wife, craving her, her touch, her hand even? Hmm. That's kind of an apples to oranges situation, YouTube. Hmm. That's why autism is a blast, isn't it? I go too far with it. Ooh. So people are worried about being single and making more money, living the fulfillment of their life, and it's just like, if you're so worried about it, then make it happen, Captain. The power, it starts with your mind. The power is in your hands. If you want to make a better life for yourself, then do it.
Sometimes I get drunk and post a video when I'm angry at people and I don't mean to post it. And if I'm, if I'm in one of those moods, like, I should just not post videos, you know, kind of thing. I mean, yeah. Also, if you become a famous YouTuber and you're trying to get a girlfriend, don't talk about girls on your channel. It's creepy. I know I'm a huge hypocrite for saying it, but the trolls find out more information about her than you know before you do, and they fuck with her, so when you go to ask her out, she'll be like, um, no, you seem like a really nice person, but your trolls are assholes, and they're sitting there laughing, going, ha, we're preventing Cobra from getting a girlfriend, this is hilarious. Yeah, it is hilariously sad when people go, here's a good looking autistic goth stud who is more than capable of getting some of age tail, and yet he struggles with autism and he's confident enough to be himself. That triggers me. I'm jealous. Now he's got his own business that he's successful with. Now I'm twice as jealous. And ooh, he's getting more subscribers on YouTube. Damn him. Oh, I know. I want to harass the chicks that he knows in his life. Or that he's spoken of or to in the past. Just to get a reaction, because I'm bored. No one can tell you how to live the perfect life or how to get chicks. That's just something you have to learn, I guess. Yeah. But honestly, I wear tactical soap because I'm autistic. I struggle in social situations. And when I struggle in social situations, I feel uncomfortable or out of place. But I put on the Bond tactical soap and women love the smell of it and all of a sudden talking to women becomes a little bit easier because they like the smell of it and that boosts my confidence. You know, for decades men have been trying, men have been trying to come up with a scent that makes them smell irresistible to women because for decades women have been the masters of seduction. Women don't even need pheromone soap to get laid. Honestly, they show up to a bar wearing a tight dress and a little bit of makeup and hoo hoo. However, for the sake of marital aid, I think tactical soap should make a soap for her. Goddess tactical soap. You can make it pink and purple. I'm sure there's a way to do it to where it doesn't give men boners, but it does pique their curiosity. Like, hey, this chick smell good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that when she wears her soap and it pairs with your soap, Think about it. Yeah. Because some women have argued that pheromone soap that works should be illegal, and I disagree. Because women are in total control of what they do. Just because tactical soap makes women horny doesn't mean they immediately just, you know what I'm saying? It's not guaranteed to get you laid, but it's guaranteed to make you smell good. And, um, you know, and honestly, if women had a tactical self of their own, they wouldn't be complaining. They'd be going, wait, what? I mean, 
mean, honestly, if I won the lottery, I would invest in something like that because that's a multi-million dollar idea. And I'll tell you what, YouTube, that tactical soap's no joke. That's the real deal, Skippy. I was worried because of the COVID-19 bullshit that the company would not be working. But when I ordered some, they got it sent out for shipping. Sweet. And uh, Cobra Crush Wands is continuing as well. Some of the reviews that I got on Etsy were quite interesting to say the least. Nonetheless, positive reviews. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching the night video, and I'll keep you updated on the wands as I make them for Etsy. Like that crystal scepter that I made. That's nice.